The Berachot um, that we're studying in, in Yaakov, we learn on, on page 23 that contrition brings about forgiveness. Contrition. As we know, a broken and, and humbled heart, God will not despise. Rabbi ben Hena, the elder, further said in the name of Rav, if a person commits a sin and is ashamed of it, all of the sins are forgiveness are forgiven. For it says, Thus you will be remember, you will remember and feel shame, and you will be abashed to open your mouth again. When I have forgiven you for all that you have done, says God the Lord, Ezekiel chapter sixteen, verse sixty three. Proof that shame and forgiveness goes hand in hand. The Gemara asks, maybe a community to which this verse refers is different, but how do you know that shame brings about forgiveness even for an individual? The Gemara Therefore, suggest a different proof in stating, but we de we derive it from a verse. When Saul conjured up spirits of the deceased Shmuel or Samuel, Samuel said to Shaul, Why have you disturbed me and brought me up? And Shaul answered, I am in great trouble. The Philistines are attacking me and God has turned away from me. He no longer answers me, either by prophets or by dreams. So I have called you to tell me what I am to do. First Samuel chapter 28, verse 15. But Saul does not mention that he consulted the Urim Tumim. The Urim Tumim was basically was on the breastplate of the high priest. Although according to the verse uh, 6 of this chapter, he did in fact consult the Urim. Saul did not mention it because he had killed all the people of Noah, the city of the priest. And his silence shows that he was ashamed for what he had done. And how do we know that God had forgiven Saul or Shaul? Because it says, Samuel said to Shaul, Tomorrow your sons and you will be with me. First Samuel 28, verse 19. Rabbi Yochanan said, With me means you will be in, the, in, in my dwelling. And Gan Aden, proof that he was forgiven. The rabbi said, We learned it from a year. That the Gibeonites demanded that David handed over seven of, of Shaul's son and said, And we will hang them before God in Givat Shaul, the chosen of God. Second Samuel chapter 21, verse 6. It was not the Gibeonites who said, Shaul, the chosen of God. It was a heavenly voice that came forth and declared, Shaul is chosen of God. Proof that he was, in fact, forgiven. So we find that even being ashamed is an emblem, is a sign of forgive of, of, of true repentance, and as a result, forgiveness is attained. So, something very similar also happened with uh, um, King Shlomo HaMelech, but we'll look at that at another time. Shalom, shalom.